Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share what are all the different career opportunities that you can choose after completing your engineering. So what to do after BTEC, what to do after engineering is the most common doubt that every engineering student has while coming to the final year or before even before that. So I will tell you six different options that you can choose from and based on your interest, based on your skill set or based on your mindset, you can choose one from this. So and yes, these are all the six possible options and you can also uh, even explore more too. So while coming to the first thing, job. Job is a primary thing that 70% of the engineering students do uh, after completing their BTEC. So when to do job? So this is the most common question that people got again. So if colleges are forcing you to attend placement, don't just attend for the namesake because if you really want a job, you are in a requirement to do a job or if you think you don't have any entrepreneurship ideas and if you just want to earn income, earn stable income, that's it, then you can do the job. And also, it re also like it's easy to get a job. It's the most easiest thing than everything because even unskilled, unskilled engineering students in India will be hired by most of the service based companies. You don't need a skills. So if you have some effective communication and if you um, express some confidence out there, you will definitely get placed in at least one company. So, but choose like if you have any interest, any other interest on in pursuing higher education, going to a research site or starting your own firm, then don't go into that because once you go into, uh, I mean, employment or once you go into the job, you won't find time and it's not easy to get back and start new things. Not everyone will be successful on uh, transforming from job to entrepreneurship. So make make sure you are fit to do a job, then only enter into this job. And the second option is MTech. So I can say there is no, I mean, there is no such, no much difference between engineering, I mean, BTEC and MTech while coming to the syllabus and the academic regulations and all your stuff because almost you will you will learn some extensions extensions of all the computer science subjects or whatever the degree you choose like whatever the branch you do you choose so you will only find some extensions that's it you will not learn enough things because everything can be learned online now so only choose like if you can ask me when to choose mtech only choose so when you feel that you are not fit enough to do a job so even though you will get some placements um, without depending on your skills but if you feel you're you are still not fit for the job. So if you haven't learned anything in your engineering and you realize it that you need to learn something and you need some time, then only do MTech. Or if you want to go for research side, so you want to do a PhD or you want to enter into completely research, research side, then do MTech. So only do MTech when you, when, you, when you feel you are not fit to do a job or when you need more time to decide on your career or when you want to go for research side. Only do MTech if you fits into any of these three things. Then the third option is EMS. So doing masters in abroad. So and there is no much difference between MTech and MS. But the only difference is while uh, when you do masters in abroad, you will get more opportunities. But you need to spend more money uh, before that. So it, it's costly when compared to MTech. So only opt MS. So when you fit any of the reason that I have mentioned in MTech and if you can afford some money to stay abroad and uh, meet all your expenses, then only choose MS. Don't just go uh, to MS just because others are going. So if it really matches any of the things like you are, if you think you need some time to decide or if you think you are you're not that much skill on doing a job or if you want to start your own entrepreneurship or if you want to settle abroad, if you have any of these thoughts in mind, you can choose MS. So it's, it's um, I mean, syllabus wise and uh, education wise, it's similar. And the other thing is MBA. So MBA is, is all about like, if you want to go towards entrepreneurship or, so not actually entrepreneurship. So if you need more time, it's one reason. And the other thing is if you want to go for management side, so you know, uh, like you like managing people, you, you like, taking the leadership, then you can choose MBA. And again, don't choose MBA just because others are, others are choosing. And because it just because it is fancy, don't uh, do MBA. And doing MBA in normal colleges will not favor you much. So if you want to do MBA, try to choose B schools. And of course, it's costly, but only choose MBA when you want to go towards management side or human resources side. So if you want to become a people's member, so you like managing people and leading people, leading teams, 
then only choose mba and also if you want to go towards entrepreneurship and you want to learn more about that it's it's a good thing uh, to go for mba and the fifth option i can say is freelancing so you think you are skilled but you don't like working static i mean working in a static mode by doing 9 to 5 job then freelancing is one more you can make sure you can earn per hour using your skills but only opt into freelancing if you want to become a full time freelancer only only choose when you are confident on your skill set if you are really confident on your skill set and if you have a wide range of portfolios then ultimately freelancing works for you but choose wisely so if you feel you have enough skills to enter into a complete freelancing then only choose this freelancing and the sixth option i can say is entrepreneurship so if you have a thoughts from your childhood on starting your dream company starting i mean making your idea into a real world a solution so then only choose entrepreneurship so again entrepreneurship is a fancy term nowadays people are starting startups it's okay it's fine but if you are confident on your in your idea so if you have an idea so you need an idea before going into that don't just do it because others are doing again so if you want to start your own enterprise and if you have an idea that is backing up by you from a long time and if you want that to convert as a real time solution if you want to build your own enterprise build your own company then choose entrepreneurship but make sure you are clear about the profits that you will be making in the future and in the investments that you do now so and you need to do a lot of research before going into entrepreneurship as your full time so apart from this there are also some other things so i can say there are some programs like pgds so which is pg diploma so which means you can if you want more time or if you want to get expertise on any particular skill you can choose this one year programs or pg diplomas so you can find it uh, anywhere in anywhere across the world so it's a short term thing so even if you are into a job like if you are working for a company you can still manage uh, by doing some executive pg programs which means uh, you can attend classes on weekends and you can get a masters degree or you can get a post graduation diploma certificate of one year but is again like if you are affordable and if you think you need to master a particular skill to get a good career then you can choose this so these are all the seven options that according to me you can choose um, as your career option but still it again depends on your own research so do your own research first uh, i mean recognize what fits for you the best so don't just do a particular thing don't just select a career option just because others are doing or your friends are doing because it's your career and if you choose it wisely you will get a good career otherwise you will lose some of your life just because you choose a wrong decision so make sure you choose this wisely and yeah if you find it insightful please share it in your network and please do subscribe to this channel and help me thank you thank you so much for watching this video